Are you struggling to build your brand and focus on all that marketing stuff? Do those things make you uncomfortable? Like you really don't know what you're doing? Well, you're not alone. But let me put you at ease because I'm about to tell you why branding is not about all that creative stuff. A brand is about making choices. Hi, I'm Justin Crowd, and I created this brand to help you grow yours. I share proven, practical, and effective ways to build your brand like the pros simply by sharing what I've learned from years in the corporate world. In this video, I wanna talk about what I believe branding and marketing really is all about. I know how confusing and intimidating it can be, but I want to show you a clear way to think about it. One that can help you get the right perspective and build your brand with confidence. I'm also going to share a brand that I love and that highlights the choices they're making to build it so successfully. When I'm coaching clients to build their brand, it seems that every one of them struggles with some aspect of branding and marketing, or to be more precise, they struggle with how to do those things confidently. When you work with a designer to create something for your brand, whether it's designing the product or the service or your logo, or your website, anything, you always end up asking yourself questions. What should it look like? How should my brand communicate? How do I want it to come across? And those are really important questions, but they can be tough to answer. But here's the good news. You do not need to be a marketing genius, super creative, artistic, or stylish to build an amazing brand. But what you have to be is very good at making clear choices. I believe that your brand is an outward expression of an internal identity. It was created for your customers to solve a problem. Your brand was created for customers and solves a problem. That's really clear. But know that your brand is an outward expression. Everything customers see, touch, hear, feel, taste, and experience outwardly from our brands through the products, the services, logos, websites, all of it is informed by an internal identity that we as brand builders or founders create. And that identity is your brand identity. It's the blueprint that represents the DNA, the anchor, the lens, the compass, and the filter of your brand. It reflects everything you end up communicating and why, and everything starts there. Your brand identity is composed of a set of choices. So in its simplest form, your brand is a set of choices. You are making trade-offs, deliberate and intentional decisions about how you bring your products and services to life. The choices that compose your brand and represent your brand identity are often shared through tools like a brand pyramid, and it's my favorite. And it's simply a document with questions you answer and information you complete in the shape of a pyramid. It forces you to convey what your brand is all about in as few words as possible to make trade-offs and clear choices. And this information helps you bring your brand to life in a very focused way. Here are the high level choices that you need to make to successfully bring your brand to life and guide anything that's created on behalf of it. Inspiration. What inspired the creation of the product or service? Where did this idea come from? This is often the authentic brand founder story and it outlines how a brand came to life. It reflects gifts, experiences, lessons, and even trials the founders experience and overcome. It's the reason we wanna share something unique with the world. Target clients. Who are you intending to serve? This is so important. Important. Everything about your brand is about your customers. Be clear on exactly who your clients are and who they aren't. Bring them to life in terms of what's important to them and why they need you. Whatever you create has to appeal to a specific group because this group needs you. Every brand is created to solve a problem, a specific problem that you are solving through you, your products or your services, what is the problem you're trying to solve? And how are you uniquely solving it? No matter what, you have competition. You need to describe how only you will uniquely solve your target client's problem better than your competition. This is often called your value proposition. How is only your brand going to solve this problem for your target clients? And how will you show up? What are the non-negotiable attributes of how you conduct your business? Those must have features of you, your team, or your products and services, whether it's professional, down to earth, Earth, bold, easy to use, high performance. These types of attributes define what your brand starts to look like and what you expect anyone to work on it to deliver against. How do you want your clients to feel after you've solved their problem? What emotions do you most want to create for them? Joy, confidence, peace of mind, happiness. Focusing here helps you create above and beyond experiences that keep you, your products, or your services top of mind. And then at the top of the pyramid, what are the values you wanna build into your brand? Precision, excellence, faith, family, quality. What do you hold most important with respect to what your brand contributes to the world? The better and more clearly you answer these types of questions, the more confidence and clarity you'll have in building your brand. And all of this reflects your brand DNA. And there's another dimension I like to add when I'm coaching clients, because when you're building a brand, you need to identify the strategic partners you will engage. 
the other people, other brands, and other organizations that can help you grow faster than you ever would alone. Your heart reflects organizations that you, your team, and your business could serve to help exemplify your brand values. This helps you engage clients in a deeper way. Brand ambassadors and influencers are relationships that you have and relationships you create as your brand comes to life. Together, they help you amplify your brand. And with a clearly defined DNA, you now find the types of strategic partners that align with your identity, the brand identity you've created for your brand, to be sure there's a fit. Then all of you grow your brands together, faster, more efficiently, more profitably. This is where one plus one really equals three. So I promised an example, and here's a brand that I find absolutely amazing and that brand is Shaquille O'Neal. Is it just me or do we see Shaq everywhere? And it got me thinking, how is Shaq so successful as a brand? What makes him so desirable that all these companies wanna place him in their ads? And then it struck me, Shaq is making amazing choices about how his brand is shared with the world. If you hear Shaq's story, he'll talk about how his parents inspired him, how his stepdad taught him the importance of being financially smart, and his mom kept him grounded when it came to indulging in the good life. Clearly, he was a gifted athlete, a fantastic basketball player, and a champion. But his focus as a brand now is targeted to everyday Americans that are looking to find humor and joy in their everyday lives. They know life is hard, and they appreciate how simple things, like a funny ad or a funny commercial, can just bring a smile to their face or show them that life can be fun and enjoyable no matter how much money they make. Shaq's brand speaks to those of us that often feel invisible, unimportant, or insignificant, living small lives that go unnoticed, like we don't matter. But only Shaq shows us that we can be champions, and we can be larger than life, and we can do it with a sense of humor. We can be humble, kind, and empathetic to everyone around us. Shaq makes us feel like we matter, like we're important, and that all of us can be larger than life. Shaq is making really smart choices and trade-offs when it comes to his brand. Think about it. He's not throwing people through walls. He isn't looking down on people. He's not proving how big and strong he is relative to everyone else. He gets behind products he truly likes. He's being who he is, and he comes down to our levels, and we are all right there with him. Shaq knows that he is rich and his kids aren't, that he's worked hard to get where he is, and he values the work he put into it, and he expects his kids to work hard too. Shaq's brand is powerful because he's making amazing choices, and that's what a great brand is made of. And once you wrap your mind around the fact that your brand is, in its simplest form, the decisions and choices you make, the world of branding and marketing and advertising opens up to you because you have this confidence and this clarity around what your brand truly represents. And when you engage someone to work on your marketing, on your products or services, or even to join your team, in any way work on your brand, you can clearly convey what your brand was created to do, who it was created to serve, and how they need to exemplify those things around your brand. And you'll always know if their work and your work is on brand. There is only one shack, but know that absolutely anyone can build a brand make smart choices, and offer something unique to the world that has value. And even if you aren't an entrepreneur, a real estate agent, or building a company, you should always be building your brand. We all have our own brands, and those brands are personal. And especially if you work for a company or belong to a brokerage or serve an organization with a brand that isn't yours, you have to think of your brand first. Because that brokerage, that organization, that company is not gonna be focused on building your brand. And that's often the only thing that you can take with you when you leave. I hope this video helped you understand what I believe branding is really all about. And if it did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much.